NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. You get all that? <laughs> Some of it. <laughs> I know, it's, it's, it's not a guy thing. We just don't follow those yeah, good it, uh, pieces of advice. But, uh, so the, the front is moving through right now. We saw the uh, tree at the top, top of Church Street a minute ago, and uh, you're going to feel it. You will feel it, and then there's another front on Saturday. So if you're wondering about the weather in Syracuse for the big UVM game, we've got another situation kind of like this. Ooh. Probably not as wet, but there will definitely be some rain showers in the area of Syracuse. The front probably goes through about 1 p.m. The game starts at 2 so I think temperatures sharply fall off during the game and certainly right after falling into the 30s with those rain showers and a whipping wind up near 40 miles per hour. That's for Syracuse on Saturday. So it's just that time of year back and forth between these powerful systems. Today we had gusts between 40 and 50 for many spots. Edwardsville at 44, Russell at 42. The wind advisory is still up and that advisory is mostly for the wind before the front goes through and it's already crossing through the Burlington area now. So once it passes, we lower the wind to about 30 miles per hour tonight. So it's not going calm, but at least it won't be quite as strong overnight. And the tail end of this is actually a couple of snowflakes in the Adirondacks right now, not expecting accumulation from this round. But once the snow showers ramp up overnight and definitely tomorrow, there will be a light accumulation in some of the mountains. You can already see the snow showers there way back over the Great Lakes. So those will be overhead. We'll have a lot of clouds for much of the day tomorrow. Maybe a little bit of brightening towards sunset for later on in the day for Thursday. And then Friday is a nice intermission day where it's quiet, not much going on, some sun. And then that second round of rain with that second front comes through on Saturday, also impacting us, of course. 36 right now in Lake Placid, but look at the 40s in Vermont. So you can clearly see the immediate impact from the front. It doesn't take much time to really fall off with the temperatures. 37 in Saranac Lake, but a 52 still in Lebanon. So the rain is mostly done by about 8 o'clock, and then it's just snow showers for the rest of the night. And the most widespread snow shower activity should be first thing in the morning at 8 o'clock. That's why there's a lot of clouds, so you'll probably run into a few of those early and then brighter by mid and late parts of the afternoon. Friday, as I mentioned, high pressure overhead. So Friday is a quiet day. It's pretty nice out, low 40s. But on Saturday, we've got these additional showers coming through. For us, they're already in town at 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. So in terms of snow tonight and tomorrow, not seeing accumulation in the Champlain Valley, but the mountains getting a dusting to perhaps two inches of snow. And it's still breezy tomorrow, up to about 30 miles per hour out of the northwest. So a definite change overnight, uh, even by midnight or early in the morning, you'll feel the much colder air. At least it turns a lot drier. And then we move along. We're back up near 50 for Saturday with that second round of rain showers. But Sunday at this point looks good. So does Monday of next week. And there's some question about Tuesday and Wednesday. There could be accumulating snow. On the flip side, though, it could also trend warmer and be mostly rain. The verdict is still out on that, but we will keep you updated. Stu, Alice. All right, Tyler, thank you.